I'm Jason Salyer, and today we're talking about the Wazoo Cash Belt. This belt is a super creative idea and it's just a way to easily stow away some survival gear without you even having to think about it. It's just there for safekeeping and if you ever should need to draw from it, it's, it's ready. Um, just a really, really good design, creative idea and I, I like it a lot. I've been wearing it for a couple weeks now and I'm digging it so far. First things first, the buckle. The buckle is a really, really good design. Um, it's simple, all it does is just kind of snap in place holds really securely haven't had any issues with it slipping or anything like that um, all you really do is just feed the end of your belt through snap it down and it holds really well inside of this buckle I thought this is probably the most creative thing about the whole belt um, it's essentially just a velcro envelope basically made out of nylon but the buckle is some really creative engineering going on here and inside that buckle it's designed perfectly to fit a um, signal mirror so it's in there really good it's not going to fall out but i've kept the protective coating on there just to keep it from getting scuffed up but if you need to use the signal mirror for signaling obviously or some sort of first aid something's in your eyeball and you need to check it out that is something that's a really handy thing to have and it's got a um, soft liner in here, so if you wanted to keep the signal mirror in there unprotected, if you wanted to take the plastic off, you could probably get away with that and not have any issues. But I figured, you know, why not just keep it on there as well. I also forgot to mention it's, it's a bottle opener as well, so check that out. That's a handy thing right there. If you wanted to take the whole thing off, it comes off really easily as well. Just snaps in place. Very cool design. There's a lanyard here. There's actually one on both sides, a small little lanyard on each end. And it comes with a small carabiner. You could hook a water, an Nalgene water bottle or something on there, whatever. It just depends on how you want to use it. You could cut it off if you don't want that there. Um, kind of up to you. But we'll start on this end here. One of the most difficult things to carry is a container for water. Um, that's one of the most difficult things to kind of EDC everyday carry. And Wazoo has solved that problem with their um, water kits. This is how they come for the most part. Um, it's three Ranger bands with a water bag and then inside of the water bag rolled up is some aluminum foil that you could make yourself some sort of container to actually prob to boil water in. So that's a thing. And it also comes with a couple of water purification tablets that will treat half a gallon of water. So that's one kit. What I've done, the most important part of all of this to me is the uh, plastic bags and the water purification tabs. Everything else isn't as important to me, so I've kind of weeded it out just a little bit. And what I've done is I have wrapped two bags. So this is two of the one liter, one quart bags, two Ranger bands, the aluminum foils in there, um, and I've got the water purification tablets right here. So this is six water purification tablets. So that's enough to treat a gallon and a half. Is that going to last forever? No, but that's a easily a day and a half worth of water. And if you're really rationing it out, you could make that last a few days. Um, so that's what that's for. And with the two bags, I mean, they are plastic bags. They're not indestructible. So um, I figured having two is better than one. I've got some cordage here. This is Technora cord. This is about 400 pound test, which is pretty incredible. This is some really, really strong stuff. Smaller in diameter than um, paracord. About similar to what you'd get on bank line, but it's much stronger than bank line. So that's really cool. I've got two quick tender tabs. These burn for a long time. You don't even need a whole one to get a fire going. You can sometimes just cut them in half and that works good. It's emergency fire starting. And then on this lanyard here, so I can just pop it around my neck if I need to. If I'm using the stuff, I can put it around my neck. Just a little bit of bank line. Um, I've got a small blade, small blade here, ceramic blade, not metal, ceramic, very, very sharp. I've used it a few times. It works great on cordage. 
not that amazing for cutting like wood and things like that and you're not going to do any carving really with it but it does a really good job cutting cordage cutting open the packages and stuff like that that's that's in your kit really handy i've got a small ferro rod tiny little ferro rod that can be struck with the with the small blade in its closed position see how it's kind of exposed right there that sharp 90 degree spine on that and i'll use this small ferro rod to get my fire going and i can strike up these tinder tabs pretty easily i'll show you how that works actually there we go and then we've also got a small little light here these lights are actually pretty incredible that i used one last night um and it's very bright that you can see quite a long ways in the darkness with this tiny little light i don't know how long the battery lasts i haven't tested that out but um it's got two small little watch batteries kind of in there. Really small, compact, and, and very, very bright. Rape whistle. Very loud whistle too. And this works really well for signaling purposes. We've got a small button compass that I keep stowed in there just for general direction. Works really, really well just to get yourself from point A to point B. If you know there's a road to the west, this will get you there, no problem. I've got some tubes here some watertight sealed up straws not that that necessarily needs to be but just kind of keeps it all organized and protected i've got fishing line a wire saw some brass wire and then a fishing slash sewing kit which is a pretty handy thing to have so i don't always wear a hat i've got the wazoo cash cap as well with some items stored away in there but i don't always wear the hat most of the time I do, but not always. But I always have a belt on. All, I mean, every time I put my pants on, I've got a belt around it. And maybe the only exception would be like a bathing suit or something. So, um, But it's just really nice to have all of this stuff within arm's reach all the time. I've got a way to purify water. I've got a way to signal. I've got a way to make myself a shelter. I've got a way to navigate, start fires. It, it, it kind of checks all of the boxes in this small package that's just gonna be, you're not even gonna know it's there. It works really well with concealed carry. I carry in an appendix uh, position. I carry a Glock 19 with an extra mag and it works just fine. I have no issues, doesn't move around. It's rigid enough, especially with all the gear in there, it kind of makes the belt a little bit more rigid and it works just fine. So if you had a question about how that's gonna work, it, it's great. I turn my, I push my buckle around to the left side here because I just don't want it stacking on top of the gun and making it stick out more. Um, so that's the way that I, I rock that and it works really well, have had any, haven't had any issues with it. So depending on where you place things, you can access stuff in the belt without even taking it off, which is pretty handy. I've heard of guys putting like handcuff keys and things like that for, you know, certain situations that may arise when you need to escape and evade type of deal. But if I wanted to get myself a little bit of fishing line, I get my fishing tackle right here, just pop it out without even having to take off the belt. I think that's a pretty cool feature. So how do you tie your shoes in space? Anybody know? With astro knots. <laughs> That's what I want for a comment today. Who can tell me the best joke? That's what I want. In a comment, leave me an awesome joke. You could also make yourself a makeshift um, bow saw. That's something you could do as well, a flexible sapling. Cut a couple of notches in the ends and stick these in there so they stay in there. Um, they get trapped in the notch. That would work as well. Um, but this is probably the simplest. This is probably the easiest. Most field expedient way to get a couple of handles on there, just a couple of loops. So let's just see how she handles on this alder here. You know, I don't love wire saws. I mean, obviously they're not the best saw out there. Um, but for, it's the only saw that I can put in my belt. <laughs> so it's the only saw that I can carry with me conveniently all the time. And they do work pretty well. As long as you don't get them too hot, you kind of take your time with them. They work 
pretty well. And if I was just needing to cut through some one inch kind of saplings to build a shelter, make a tripod, fashion, you know, whatever, a stretcher to carry my broken compadre out of the out of the woods with the, if he just crashed his motorcycle, who knows? There we go. Nice clean cut. Perfect. So the wire saw gets the job done. Will it last forever? Are you going to build a village? Probably not, but it does work and it's in my belt ready to rock. So that's just an example of how, you know, some of these items in the belt can be extremely useful. Not even just in a survival situation, but just in, you know, at a convenience, you know, instead of going to all the way over to the barn in the back 40 to go get a saw, I just, all I need to do is cut this one thing out of the trail and it's too big for me to break, that would get it done. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Hit the thumbs up. See you next time.